Commissioner, thanks very much for being with us today. We My appreciate pleasure. it. Um, race to the top, uh, where do we stand on the second round application? We're working right now uh, to rewrite the application that we submitted back in January. Um, we've been releasing that application section by section. So I'm hoping that the school board members in the state have had an opportunity to see sections A, B, and C. Um, our, our thought here is that, uh, first of all, we knew we need to, needed to do a better job of telling the story of Missouri, what we've already done, um, our, our history of uh, standards work, and the history of uh, high, high expectations that we've always had in our state. So we're rewriting uh, with that end in mind and uh, trying to release it a little bit at a time so everybody has an opportunity to read it and give us feedback. Mm -hmm. Uh, you were quoted recently as saying it may be a challenge for Missouri to get funding in that second round. Is, the, is that the way you feel about I, it? I think that's true. Uh, we looked at the points uh, that, were, uh, that we received in our first round, and uh, we know that uh, we have a couple of policy areas in Missouri that we've not done a lot of work in, uh, specifically in the area of teacher leader quality and the area of charter schools. Um, without those two areas or without uh, significant policy change in those two areas, it's going to be pretty difficult for us to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, in the proposal, in reading that, uh, you outline a proposed restructuring of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Um, our thought here is that we need to look at how we deliver services. Um, one of the things that uh, the department is, is trying very hard to do is to change from an agency that's focused on compliance and monitoring to one that's focused on support and service. Uh, to do that, we think that we need to be redeployed around the state. Um, we have a statewide system of support through our RPDCs, but we believe that perhaps the department itself uh, could have a different uh, uh, picture or a different uh, approach to how we serve school districts. Um, that's a transition that could take a number of years, uh, not something that we uh, know is going to happen quickly. But we're looking at how we can redeploy department services, uh, personnel, um, other things to be closer to school districts and be able to provide more hands-on support. Are you going forward with that regardless of whether you do get funding for Race to the Top? I, we will be studying that issue and looking at that issue. Um, right now, uh, of course, we have most of our personnel here in Jefferson City. Um, most of those people spend a great deal of their time on the road um, because the work is in the school district. So, um, you know, as we have personnel changes, as we have opportunities to transition those funds, um, you know, it's possible that we could start making those changes. But again, uh, particularly in this economic environment, uh, we know that this is uh, going to be a long-term transition. Another issue that's getting a lot of attention is the proposed merger of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education with the Department of Higher Education. What's your view on that? We're, we're very interested, of course, in studying the proposals uh, to, to accomplish that consolidation. Uh, one of the things that we know we need to look at is how do we develop a seamless P20 system of educational services and educational opportunities for our children. Um, that P20 concept certainly would indicate that uh, a merger of the Department of Higher Ed and, and the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education might make some sense. Um, I think it's a transition we're going to have to look at very closely. Uh, one of the things that the State Board has said, and I certainly agree, is that we need to set some very clear objectives for what any consolidation uh, might look like and what that uh, consolidation might accomplish. So uh, as we go through this process, I think that's something we'll be working on. Well, as you know, school districts are going through some tough times right now, making a lot of difficult decisions because of the budget situation that, that all the schools are facing right now. What's your message to board members and superintendents in these tough times as far as making these budget cuts and yet maintaining quality education? You know, I, I have tremendous confidence in the, in the school board members and the superintendents throughout our state because uh, to, a, to a person, I think all of them are focused on, on the important thing, which is what's good for kids. Um, as I talk with superintendents and school board members throughout the state, um, I emphasize that I think they need to just make decisions with that as the core. Um, you know, there's no question these are really, really difficult times and people are having to make some very difficult choices. Um, and to the extent that the department can provide 
provide um, support in doing that, we're certainly willing to do that. Uh, sometimes the support we can provide is maybe just to give somebody to blame, um, and that's okay too. But um, I think just keeping the children at the center uh, and making those tough decisions and hopefully understanding that this is temporary. We're hoping in, in a couple of years that this looks like a bad memory. All right, Commissioner, thank you very much for being with us. You're very welcome. Pleasure to be here.